it is a pretty exciting morning at the Chateau today because it is Maria and Pavlina's great Orthodox Easter celebration. They have been plotting this together for some time and we're about to go through and have a huge Easter breakfast all together. And if you're wondering why I'm dressed like this, we've been given fairly strict instructions on what to wear, anything floral, embroidery, and for the women, if possible, long red skirts. Happy Orthodox Easter et bonjour. Oh, wow. Hello. I think, I mean, I tried. Really? Because I feel like I'm just one monobrow short of Frida Kahlo. Oh, my God. <laughs> I'm sporting the scarf instead of a skirt, so it doesn't even count. But we, we It does count. Come on. That's, that's a skirt. Is what we have. <laughs> so how do you feel about Philip's look today? I mean, this is on point. Uh, you're both on point. Especially <laughs> <laughs> the, the boots. <laughs> I thought it's... Uh, it's a little bit Yulia Tymoshenko and Taras Bulba. It gets exactly what I was going to say. <laughs> no idea. <laughs> Dari Olka. Just say da. Da. Uh, you can't say da because in the Ukrainian it's tak. 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 Which is probably closer to yours. I, this is why I mixed up in the languages, sorry. <laughs> yeah. Yes. But this is an Orthodox celebration, okay, not a Russian one or a Ukrainian one. one. It's. And that means no. No, it means yes in Greek. Oh. All right, we're bringing the true meaning of peace at Easter to Latland with our multi, multi-ethnic Orthodox celebration. <laughs> This is also very traditional, but not Finnish or, or whatever it's called. I think somebody told me this Finnish salami. It's either Finnish or Norwegian. I can't, oh, I, I can't remember exactly. Okay. Yeah, we've probably just got a little bit of reindeer on the table now, which is excellent. No, I think this is this is beef with cognac. So. Oh. oh, whoa! Oh. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> the cheese. Oh, you are clever. Maxim has really taken the uh, lead a bit. I'm so excited. I no, I haven't seen. I don't want to go in without you. Okay, okay. And we can just coffee, tea? Yeah, I'll put the kettle on. Right. Okay. I'm in charge of the tea. So we have proper British bog standard tea. And then we busted out the Fortnum and Mason Easter tea again. I just really love the tea strainer. But I'm quite excited because so far I've only been in the kitchen and everyone keeps saying to me, have you seen the table? Have you seen the table? Have you seen the table? I haven't seen it yet. Let's follow the teapot into the room. Oh, wow. Oh, la la, c'est bon. Oh, et les gâteaux. This is amazing. Et voilà les œufs que vous avez fait. C'est lequel, le tien? Tu le vois, le le vert? C'est celui-là. Ah, il est chouette. Oui. Wow, there's so many cakes. Oh, honestly, Maria is an absolute marvel. I don't even know what these are. I think this must be the savoury part of it. And there is the glorious decorated Easter tree with all of the ribbons that the children put on and the lovely eggs. Oh, it's just gorgeous. Yeah, we've used, I think these were sent as well. In yes, yes, they were. And they're either maybe Bulgarian or Hungarian. I'm not too sure. So that. good. Yeah. And you've got the... Uh... Yeah, well, that's a work of genius. Yeah. That was heavily your family. So, yeah, that's I think we helped you a little bit. <laughs> yeah. This is what I made the curd cheese for. That's the, that's the curd cheese pasta. Excellent. And then we have two of the Easter breads. As we're getting ready to sit down and enjoy all of this, I'm going to show you Maria making two types of cheese for today and everyone decorating the eggs for Easter. You're looking very colourful. I like Thank it you. a lot. To, to keep warm because I have uh, come here under false pretenses that I've come for the spring summer season. <laughs> yeah, oh, it is. It's colder than a Cypria winter. So. Welcome to spring. Thank you. Why has all the milk appeared it's on not the kitchen milk. table? It is. Oh. Le ribot. I don't know what ribot is. It's kind of like buttermilk slash kefir. I didn't know you could get buttermilk yeah, in France. That's basically it. So, um, and we've... that's what we need for scones. Maybe. But right now, what we need. So is... I won't touch it. I can see yeah. that it's it's got something. It's uh, I need to make tvora. This is the dish that's I'm I'm most excited about. It's like a cheesecakey thing. Mm. It, I, there's no real like comparison to yeah. other things. So I'm gonna put all of this in the saucepan, mix it with a bit of milk, and then heat it so the curds separate from the whey. Yeah. And that's what I need to use. And then the way I'm not going to waste, I'm going to cook it down to very exciting Norwegian brown cheese. You're not, you're making the brown cheese. Yeah. Because it's just cooked down whey. And then at the end you add some uh, cream to it. And then that's it. And then you just put it somewhere in a mold and it sets. No. Yeah. 
So it's you're making two no different waste. types of yeah, cheese it's today. It's a no waste operation. I'm making the tvorek now, so the curds are like doing their thing. Ooh, I, I, don't wanna, I don't want to break them up too much because okay. they become kind of like semolinary, and we do not want semolinary. Yeah. We want like flakes. So I've put them on a very low heat, and then at some point they're going to start breaking apart and okay. flaking above, off. So then I just drain that, uh, and that will be for my cheesecakey. That's yeah. it's an interesting uh, combination of like cream and butter and this. And I'm going to uh, put a bit of ricotta as well. And then once I have the whey, I'm just going to keep it keep it cooking uh, for several hours. And how long till we can eat? that cheese probably tomorrow morning are you serious is that quick like, well the whole process is going to take like maybe three four hours yeah at least then i just add a bit of cream at the end there's no sugar, uh, extra sugar uh -huh. added it's just the caramelization from the whey and then i need to pour it into some sort of mold okay we can have it for lunch tomorrow amazing yes there we go fabulous no waste it is amazing seeing this actually yeah so you see it's like yeah. it's gonna be kind of flaky mm -hmm. it's beginning to look like easter oh i thought you were gonna say it's beginning to look a lot like I christmas mean, it's like outside <laughs> pretty much but no inside it's all it's all it's happening for easter so we've got the onion skins this is to make dye for the eggs yes so the onion skins are to dye them red which is the most traditional uh, color yeah and as you see it's already released a it lot is, it is it's getting very so red. now I, I need it to cool down a little bit and then i'm going to put the eggs in and then we're going to boil them in this okay it's funny you wouldn't expect it to be that red no, just yeah. from the skins and it's specifically from these brown ones okay i've got like a couple right because i've been asking everyone who's been here for easter for your easter to preserve oh it's, the... it's your easter and my easter yeah. is it oh i see it's that's the division we've got yeah but so everyone's been saving these skins for us really kindly so i've got those so we, i've got a couple ones from from red onions yes but actually counterintuitively they're not as good as no the brown. because then they become too like almost like black like black is mm -hmm, brown mm -hmm. whereas the brown one create this nice red one and then we've got hibiscus which you brought from egypt yes and that's again it looks red purpley red now mm -hmm. but it's actually going to make them blue no way yeah, like a dark so name. everything's doing different colors yeah. to the color it is well, to apart start from this with. one so turmeric hibiscus and onion skins yes yeah. and uh, i'm going to add a little bit of vinegar to each to like lock the diet yeah yeah it's like potions class in harry yeah, potter it's like alchemy i'm very excited yeah I'm if you could work out uh, how to make gold from base metals maybe you could let me know if you yeah, if you I work it out during the day a YouTube video for that so <laughs> stay tuned <laughs> we're going in the forest um oh. to the bridge and we find some they're beautiful nice. but the shape oh. of that branch it's something like that you were looking at I mean, this is going to be more than enough. Oh, hang on. This is part more, more of your team, you, right? Uh, yeah, this yeah, is yeah. all your team. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because we have, instead of Palm Sunday, because <laughs> there's no palms in that region, we have a willow, a certain type of willow. It's traditional to put it in your home. And so we've got the egg decorations and we're going to decorate. It's going to be so pretty. Yeah. Like really cool. pretty. It, it does, does look like cute people. Yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so very not appropriate. Yeah. <laughs> Will you be holding it like this during the entire celebrations and animating yeah. the tree? Great. <laughs> I think your Easter might actually be better than our Easter. Look, it's not a competition. <laughs> but what yeah. do I say? It's a competition. Yeah. Oh, it's brilliant. Yes. Yes. Is that starting to feel right? Yes. Now it's starting to feel like Easter. You've got quite a team, this haven't you? Oh, yeah. Look, it's all about the organization and the delegation of tasks. <laughs> Which you are perfect at. Wax is just uh, the first part of the process. It's okay. not the final decoration. Final decoration, yeah. So basically, because it will cover the egg, yes. as everything else will be painted, and this part under the wax will stay white okay. or whatever the original um, color of the egg would be. So, and then we will dip this into like one of those uh, three. We'll have another yes. one. And then uh, we will take them out and we'll scrape the wax out. And then, and then reveal we'll the pattern. See the pattern. These, some of these are so very the, cool patterns. Yeah. More, the more patterns you will put in, like in here, yeah. the more you will see after you take them out. Ah, c'est beau. Oui, oui, j'aime beaucoup. Et le tien a aussi très, très joli. Ah, je ne peux pas attendre de voir ce que ça donne après, une fois qu'on enlève. C'est ton préféré ouais. oh, est Il est L. super celui-là. C'est l'aile, c'est pour toi. Mm, mm, oui. <rire> ça, ça c'est moi qui ai fait. Il est chouette. Attends, euh, vous V pour Victor. Ouais. <rire> tu fais ce qu'on fait après avec les œufs Oui, cogne. 
On les mange. On les mange. Ah, moi, je mange pas, oui. Tu les aimes pas, les œufs Non. Ah, les œufs en chocolat, c'est mieux. Oui, oui. oui. <rire> Laisse tomber. Tu dois faire près du bord. Parfait. Super, oui. It is so adorable seeing the children decorate the tree downstairs, but I've left them to it for a while because I got a notification on my phone telling me that it is time for my Dutch lesson. And no, I cannot believe I am saying that. And Philip is behind the camera looking so smug right now because he has been trying to persuade me to learn Dutch ever since we met. At first, I tried to learn Dutch with Philip teaching me, but it was either either finding another way or our relationship dying because he is so pedantic and I am not so pedantic I've just realized that many of you may not even realize that Philip's Dutch because his English is so perfect and I think that is the level that he's expecting of my Dutch but it is fairly obvious that I am not a Dutch woman when I'm in the Netherlands <laughs> But I did decide I needed to learn it properly when he overheard me ordering a sausage at a food stall and apparently instead I ordered a reigning monarch. So for the sake of our relationship I decided to use Babbel to learn Dutch instead and it has been amazing and I'm so lucky because they've offered to sponsor this video with an ad. It's one of the top language learning apps in the world and I can see why. It makes it fun and it's actually quite addictive and you can tell it how many lessons you want per week and how long you want each lesson to be and what sort of time of day you'd like to do it and it just sends you a reminder. So I'm only doing five minutes a day but every day and it's making a difference really quickly. My next lesson is Oe hat het. I think that's how are you. So this will be very useful with your family. Dank je wel. It liked it whether you did or not. Dank je wel. That's good. Dank u wel, mevrouw Janssen. Janssen, you see, it's already prepared for family. <laughs> you don't have to call my mum mevrouw Janssen. <laughs> I've completed the lesson, I've done my five minutes for the day. And the best thing is that I do get a reward every time I've done my lesson, though I have to ask for it in Dutch. Ik wil graag een kopje thee. Alsjeblieft. I'll be honest, even if it wasn't for the tea, I love Babbel. I love this method of learning. It's been scientifically proven to get you speaking another language within three weeks. So, well, we'll see. I'm only one week in. It's been designed by language teachers and it really helps you with real world conversations. So when we want to sit down and talk about our relationship, Philip, we can <laughs> do it in Dutch. Oh, good. <laughs> Babbel offers lots of different languages, so if you'd like to try it for yourself, maybe to learn French if you're ever planning to come and visit us here in future, then click the link in the description box below and you'll get 60% off your subscription. Right, I've done my five minutes and now I'm going back to Easter prep where I shall be awaiting my cup of tea, Philip. <laughs> Good. <laughs> Candles for breakfast. Yeah. This is perfect. I think these two are from Cyprus and this one I'm not too sure. Maybe... You brought the candles? Yeah. You gotta have the, the real candles. The, You're a very organised woman. I don't want no paraffin thing. <laughs> <laughs> don't want no paraffin. I don't want no paraffin. <laughs> so here we have the two Easter breads, the kulichi. Then we have the curd cheese pasta, which is kind of like a cheesecake. This one has dried apricot and uh, cranberry. This is the byproduct of that. So that's the brown cheese. Uh, that I cannot wait to try. And it comes in a flower and ladybird. It's basically dairy galore. <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> and then we've got the eggs that uh, you guys all died. The red ones are the onion ones. The yellow is the turmeric and the blue is the hibiscus tea. That's so pretty. And then just to have a bit of Cyprus in here, we've got the traditional flowness, which are the savory cheese pies. I love it. You're choosing the egg, then you take it like that. Yes. Except none. Uh, another person. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. Um, There's a fight already. Also takes an egg. Yes. And basically, they have to like crack your egg. Sometimes this egg's crack. Yes. And sometimes this. Cracks. Yeah, there's an too. So which whichever. It's do. basically conquers, but <laughs> with eggs. We do it like like that, so you can't really. <laughs> <laughs> So I lost. So your technique wasn't the best technique. <laughs> I don't know your technique. But... <laughs> and technically, it's you should be giving it by, to by years of <laughs> tradition. <laughs> then you do it in all the other side too. Yeah. Uh -huh. Oh, of course. Uh -huh. Already you broke a dirty <laughs> egg. Definitely. Yeah. It, it's it's the chickens. <laughs> Ready, Philip? Okay. This is it here. So I've got to try and <laughs> drat it. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Three, two, one. No. Oh, she got you good and proper. Wow. They didn't even fight for it. Uh, I think it was the one person was supposed to hold it. No, you're, you're both better. Oh, oh the... rematch, rematch, because it's not fair. Two, one, go. 
<laughs> oh, okay. That went funny. <laughs> <laughs> Mine too. <laughs> it was it's mutual funny. annihilation. <laughs> yeah. was... Can you do the, the, the thing? Yeah. <laughs> What's in the Cypriot Easter bread? There's a lot of different cheeses and mm. mint and semolina and then the spices that I brought from home, so which make it smell smell like flowness. Yeah. This is the one I attempted to make last year. It was we did something like similar. It was a success. Yeah, she said it was very nice. Was Thank you. Really good. Ready? Yeah. One, two, three. <laughs> <laughs> Right, that is the most violent cracking of an egg that we've seen so far today. <laughs> it's, it's a bit extreme. Not for you. Oh, there is a peacock one. I don't want you choose for me, Pavlina. For your call. Thank you very much. <laughs> yeah, I forgot to say that the reason there's so much dairy here is because there was um, the Great Lent previously, uh, previous mm. to this. So it's, I think, seven weeks of basically veganism. So then. So then mm. this is this is now the dairy uh, extravaganza. Mm. Yeah. And um, usually, I mean, I know Pavlina said you have some sort of meat as well. Uh, we didn't have that because it was the first meal as you come out of Lent. So you just go for dairy and the eggs, and that's like so a gradual transition, transition into. Whereas in Ukraine, no. But... No. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. So the head pieces are like a celebratory kind of thing, but uh, only unmarried women. Uh, can wear them and married women wore uh, nice headscarves uh, made in very intricate ways and with like beads and, and uh, decorations. So everyone got cool headwear. Yes, yes. This is what we <laughs> made with children. So it's uh, not completely traditional. You know. But we no nearly. I mean, it's we, like it's like ninety nine point nine. Yeah, it's <laughs> it's flowers yeah. up here. But they would have been huge the, flowers, would they usually? Yeah, sometimes like in few rows. Mm. Oh, beautiful. It's lovely. It's so nice. <laughs> it makes me feel that we're really having a big party and a celebration. Yeah. I like it. Everyone looks so pretty. You have to turn the camera on <laughs> you <laughs> because you. I think you have the best. One. Well, you chose this one for me, Pavlina. So, see, so you chose it to match match That's my like top perfectly matching and symmetrical <laughs> <laughs> this is so good i think this is going to disappear within a single day just a massive mound of delicious dairy with fruits i bought these magnets a few years ago because i wanted to magnet fish in our moat magnet fish yes apparently that, that's a thing <laughs> and then you just throw the magnet into in the, in the water and yes. then if you're lucky you can reel something and what did you find well, the thing is, I, we found a bomb because there was a lot of <laughs> there, was, there was a lot of fighting during the World War, so there was a bomb in the moat. So since then, I stopped. I think we have to turn around. Here. I think you say a bicycle. <laughs> yes, that's what I thought. Bomb. So what, did you find the? Yes, well, there, there, there was so many fightings around that you, there's just a phone number from the military and then they come over and they pick it up. Pick it up yeah. And I have a van and it's all metallic. So now it just hangs on top of the van and I can use it as a clothes hanger. <laughs> or a chandelier. But now I, I arrived and I see the well for the last past uh, three, four days. Yeah. And I think we should throw it in the well. Let's do some magnet rope, fishing. With a rope. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just to check if there's maybe something inside. Hopefully not a bomb though. No, no, not, yeah. I don't think there yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I don't know. I don't think so. <laughs> you look as though you want to find a bomb. Well, that's pretty, you know, that's a story for the dinner table, isn't it? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Or the breakfast table. <laughs> 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 the chateau's still standing. I'm still like, oh, I found a bicycle. <laughs> Maybe it could be a very old bicycle. I would like to have a very old bicycle. You try, what do they call the penny farthings with a massive with big wheel and then a the tiny one? <laughs> Let's hope you don't find something big in the bottom because mummy locked it and can't remember the combination. There it goes. One meter. <laughs> oh, oh, we have water. Spider's very interested in what's going on. It's not a big Pas encore. No, no. Alors, ce n'est pas lourd. No. Right, it's not heavy. I don't think we've got anything. I don't think so either. Oh. Oh. No? You're trying this side? Try again. Sorry for the anti climax. I reckon we'd find something in the moat. At least we can pretend. Yeah, just chuck a coin in. <laughs> no. No, you're trying this side. Oh, well, that is a powerful magnet. 
Oh. I don't know. The previous family did not spend their time throwing money down the well. I don't understand why no. not. They put it in the chateau. Oh yeah, that is familiar actually. Chapel. No, no, in the chapel. <laughs> okay, I think we have to take this to the moat. It seems that magnet fishing takes as much patience as normal fishing. We're leaving the children to pan the entire moat with the magnet fishing and Davy, Philip and I are going off to have a last look at the new Jardin à l'Anglaise that Davy was planting last week. Oh, Thor is looking particularly magnificent today. No, don't worry, I don't need you to get off that. It's not like the car, Thor, you can stay there. Wow. You haven't seen this yet. No. This looks great. I know, it's incredible, isn't it? There we have a whole garden room ahead of us. I know it just looks like twigs now, but we need a bit of imagination. This is my favourite part, the little doorway in, leading to this big garden room, which one day will be completely private when the hedge gets big. And Amory's already moved almost all of the rubble away. This is a tiny fraction of everything that he managed to get out in order to make the trenches that Davy and Kirsty could plant in. What a beautiful patch of spirea. Everything is starting to show its shape now. I'm starting to see your vision, Davy. It's just going to take a while. Yeah, okay. Has anything been found? No, not. Oh, dear, dear. Moment. I think they think that there's something in there, but they keep... Uh failing to like yeah. actually catch on to it yeah. well it just shows that none of us have been throwing random bits of metal which i think is a good sign yeah. i still can't get over the weather like it's no. too warm but have you noticed that it's miserable except for whenever we celebrate easter yeah. so maybe just every day <laughs> yeah every day is easter yeah. Yeah. alors encore rien victor Non, toujours rien. Ah, c'est dommage, il faudra... Comme ça, Parce que si oui. quelqu'un lâche quelque chose, oui. ça va être plus ou moins là. D'accord. Donc, tu le lâches là-bas. So they've worked out the ça, most likely trajectory for anything dropped into the mode. Ah. They feel it's a little bit heavier. Tu le sens encore toujours? Oui. Apparently it was just a heavy bit of mud. You're making a doggy bag. I am, yes. When, well, they've got six hour drive ahead of them. So that is a pack, long drive to Bruges. Yeah, pack a little bit of a snack. It's time for everyone to have one last of the amazing chocolate eggs from our previous Easter. Because, you know, we're a kind of two Easter sort of family. Ah, you saw the eggs! <laughs> I suppose they'll leave. <laughs> well, you can't leave without an egg. No, of course. Well, the next step that we have to do is finding the base for the fountain now, isn't it? Yeah. That's the next major thing so that we can get that built. Yeah, and then decide which system do we want to add to it to either reduce the maintenance but increase the cost. So it's always a choice between the two. I would rather reduce maintenance in the long term, even yeah. if it's a bit more cost in the short yeah. term, because I think here our big difficulty is maintenance. Yeah. So, so we we'll need to find a pumping system that has an integrated filter. Yes. Uh, to keep the water clean so it doesn't need Absolutely. to be uh, yes. emptied out every week or two weeks like it is in the Yeah, no, the definitely. That's what I would like. Okay. I am very sad to see you go. Yes, really you sad. <laughs> but at least, Davy, I'm seeing you next month at the Chelsea Flower Show. Yeah. So, in London. Yeah. And I hope you come back. I know how busy you are, but yeah. whenever you want. Whenever you want to do a Lalande Brewer Chateau takeover. Oh, yeah, I can, can see that. <laughs> I'm, I'm glad you had a break before. I mean, it's starting again tomorrow for you, yeah, isn't it? So, tomorrow. yeah, the break's over. And I have to say, your children are absolutely adorable. Everyone's been talking about it in the chateau. Thank They're a so joy much. to have around. C'était merveilleux. Thank you so much. It was so great. Revenez it's quand vous voulez. <laughs> I'm really glad you enjoyed it. Thank you. And thank you for searching the moat. I'm sorry we didn't find anything, but you just have to come back another time. Et oui, si tu reviens, je suis sûre que tu trouveras les autres choses. On va pas essayer sans vous. <laughs> Bye. 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 <laughs> I'm really going to miss them. Me too. That's yeah. been a joy having them here. Yeah, We've just come back to the breakfast table, which is now the brunch table, which later will be the afternoon tea table and so on throughout the entire day. And we're realising how empty it is. And the worst thing is that that's not the end of it. We move out. Yeah. <laughs> I am actually really excited for you both. And this is something that you've been waiting to tell everyone, but you've been looking for ages for your own little house in the area. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. still come and visit. <laughs> Every day. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually really hard being a couple and living where you work, isn't it? Yes. yes. Yeah. Yeah. We love working here. Mm -hmm. That's why we're here, because we do enjoy working here, then 
we wouldn't be here. Yeah. But sometimes we forget that, you know, we need we, to stop. We need to stop. stop. We need to stop. <laughs> we need to stop. That's it. Yeah. Yeah. To stop yeah. At some point. yeah. It's sad, but it's also good. It's a nice balance of the two. It'll give you yeah. a lot more free time, I think, because yeah. it's, it's much more, a uh, much clearer division between work and uh, yeah. free time, which yeah. has been a little bit of a learning curve. Oh, it's so it's always, hard here. It's you know, so hard. You always hard. think, oh, just five more minutes, five more minutes. Yeah. And then mm -hmm. you think, oh no, it's, uh -huh. it's now six, <laughs> six o'clock. Yeah, time so, to eat and then you're exhausted. So you're straight yeah, to sleep. So, but it, it's been, it's mm. been a nice little, little transition. Yeah. Very nice little transition. So, and I have the best chef. Sorry, Maria. No. <laughs> blow after blow. <laughs> Natty has oh, another Nattie. personal chef. I'm I like an you. abandoned child. <laughs> it's lovely. It's yeah. it's lovely. Mm -hmm. You know, we're still we're still here. We're still a part of the team. If Thank allowed, goodness. If we're allowed to be. <laughs> if we're allowed to be. But it's yeah, it's progression, though, isn't it? It's organic. Life I organic. think it's yeah. it's very important. Nothing, nothing stays the same forever. Mm -hmm. No, can't. no. Unfortunately, mm -hmm. it can't. But also in your whole relationship, you've never had your own little nest. No. And I think that is really important. Well, our whole relationship was back to front, wasn't it? <laughs> we started, started <laughs> living together from <laughs> third day. Yeah. So, yeah. And it's, yeah, it's brilliant. Just, we're naked in the house all the time. We didn't need to know. We, we had, that was one step too far. No, it's true. It's lovely. It's okay. Really... So is that what we're all doing now tonight? Everyone, uh, four of us naked in the house? I'll sign up for that. <laughs> it's not in the contract. You'll have us all in tears. Oh. We'll wait for a sunny day here. <laughs> Today? Today. Today is sunny, yes. Because it's... Yeah. Easter. Easter. Okay. So see you first thing in the morning. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Have a fantastic time. It's really weird still watching yeah. you leave. It's really weird. Bye. 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 Get lost. Go away. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Beep, beep. No, beep, beep. Beep, beep. Oh. Thank you all for joining us for our Orthodox Easter celebrations. If you would like to see more of the lovely Amory, Caroline and their gorgeous children, then check out their YouTube channel, Castle Ten Berha. It is the most spectacular castle. I highly recommend it to all of you. I'll put a link to their channel at the end of this video. And for those of you watching this in the premiere, their new video will be premiering straight after this one. And to all of my patrons, this week's patron video includes the dinner that we all had together on their last night at La Lande. I'd like to say a huge thank you to all of our patrons, especially Laura Watkins, Lucas Wallen, John and Anne Vipes, and Timothy Westerfield. Thank you so much for supporting us all at Lalande. And thank you all for watching. I can't wait to see you all again this Sunday, where I'll be revealing the opening of the bed and breakfast for the year.